Welcome to the Kozen Saws Technical Training Program, a collection of continued education videos and resources designed to help better inform you on how to properly maintain, repair, and keep your saw running at top efficiency. In this video, we will be discussing how to install a hydraulic chip auger. Some models will differ slightly due to design, but the basics of install are the same. Cozen chip augers usually come packed and located in a box on the rear feed table of your saw. Each box will include the auger and a safety cover that fits on the end. For this video, we will be installing a chip auger onto a Cozen C320NC saw. To begin, you will need to remove the splash guarding. For this model, there are three sets of guarding that will need to be removed, two pieces of sloped interior guarding, and one L-shaped top guard. Remove any hydraulic or coolant hosing that may be in the tank and place the chip auger in the tank as seen. If applicable, secure the auger with the provided screw. Once placed in the tank, hook up both hydraulic lines to the motor using a 14 mm wrench. When connected, slowly open the needle valve to ensure the chip auger is spinning counterclockwise. If the auger is spinning the wrong direction, Turn off the needle valve and switch the two hydraulic hose positions. Be sure that the needle valve and hydraulics are disengaged before installing any further covers or guards. For this specific model, the chip auger comes with an extra plate that forms a slope and helps prevent chips from building up in the tank. Take note to the single screw and notch for table support. Line up and install the plate at the end of the auger inside the coolant tank. Once you have installed the plate, you are free to install the safety cover on the outside end of the chip auger using the two screws provided. Each safety guard should include a yellow warning sticker on the top for your safety. If this sticker is not available, please call Cozen's service department. Proceed by reinstalling the splash guarding you removed at the beginning of the installation. Once all guards are reattached, you are free to fill the tank up with sawing fluid and begin cutting operations. Please note that if your machine's auger ever binds up or clogs, you can shut off the needle valve and swap the hydraulic hoses. This will allow the auger to reverse in direction and free up the clog. Once the auger is free from binding, you can turn off the needle valve and swap the hoses to their original position. Please remember, if you need further assistance with repairs and or parts, Cozen's parts and service departments are ready to assist you with orders and over the phone troubleshooting.